Hi, this is John Leslie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to collaborate with outsourcers, external developers, and even customers in Favro. Custom fields enable your internal and external teams to work in the same app on the same projects, while keeping internal information private and sharing only necessary information with external collaborators. Let's take the example of a marketing team working on a product release campaign. They partnered with an external creative agency to help with campaign asset creation. The internal marketing team has a budget for each asset that they don't want to share with the external creative agency. The first step is to create the custom field for the internal budget. We'll first open up the marketing backlog for this internal marketing team. And if we click any of these items in the backlog, it'll bring up the card pop-up where we can add a field. We'll create a custom field, call it internal budget. Make it a number, the unit will be dollars. And if we scroll down, we have the ability to say that this particular custom field is visible only in this specific collection. And by default, it defaults to the collection you're currently in. Now that we have the internal budget field, we can enter the actual budgets for all of our assets which you can see I've already done here in the marketing backlog. Now, from this internal marketing collection, if we take any of these assets, we'll take the intro video animation, for example, and commit that to, by drag and drop, to the external creative agency work board, you can see that we're displaying the internal budget on each of the cards on this work board. Now, if I switch over to the external marketing, or the creative agency collection, what the creative agency folks will see, you can see it's the same board, it's the same cards, but they will not see the internal budgets on the cards. Even if they open the cards, they won't see them. Even if they were to search for the internal budget field, they won't find it. Because that particular field, that custom field, is visible only to the internal marketing team. Okay, now let's take a software development example. Say we have an internal development team. Uh, they started working in tandem with an external de development team, essentially as an extension of the team. So in this particular example, we have a product owner review. Uh, maybe when it gets to the product owner review stage, the product owner feedback, we wanna make that visible to only members of the internal development team. And for the feedback that we actually want to pass on to the external development team, we're going to let the external development manager handle that. So this particular field is visible in both the internal development collection and in our example, external development collection, what the external developers are going to be working out of. So say they're both working on the same user story. To do that, you simply drag and drop the user story from here to here. It now lives on both boards. Maybe the internal team's working on part of it and the external team is working on part of it. They're working in tandem. Now, maybe the external team finishes what they need to do first. It gets to the product owner review. The product owner is gonna take a look at it. And he gives this feedback. External dev on this is awful. This was not what was intended. So maybe a little harsh, uh, not that constructive. The external development manager uh, cleans it up, says what needs to be fixed. We need to iterate on the search UI. Please review the acceptance criteria and let us know if you have any questions. Okay, so here in this collection, everybody on the internal team can see both. And you can even see that on the cards, on the boards, like so. Now, if we switch over to the external dev team collection, they're only going to be able to see the external development manager feedback. Even if they click on the cards, they're still only going to see the external development manager feedback and the same type of thing. If they search for the product owner feedback field, they're still not going to find it because it's that particular field is exclusive only to the 
internal development collection, as you can see here. Okay, so whether you're working with an external development team, an outsourced creative agency, anytime you're working with externals and you need to keep some information hidden from the external team members, while at the same time visible to internal team members, even if it's on the same cards, then custom fields with limited visibility are your best bet.